What's going on guys, before we get into this video, as you guys seen from the title of this video, yes, we had to take Kylan to the ER for his first time, and the reason for it is because uh, two days ago, we're, we were in Warrington, but now we're currently back home in Virginia Beach, but Kylan had a bloody stool uh, the morning of, I say Friday, Friday morning, and I got woken up to that and I was like, oh my God, like Erica woke me up to kind of this bloody stool and it was a lot. There wasn't like a little bit, there was, it was a lot. So first thing we did was we jumped out of bed, took him straight to the ER, which thankfully was only five minutes away. I took him there. We were the only ones there, so it went in pretty fast. We kind of like skipped everything and we have some like pictures I'll pop up on the screen here. But uh, yeah, they had to do like a test and make sure like all the, the stuff in like the stool was actually blood talking about the uh, Kylan situation mm -hmm. but he's better now yeah the the only thing that matters is he's better now uh, we woke up this morning well I woke up this morning to Erica letting me know that his stool was back to normal but the doctor even said like that it, it could have been a bunch of different things right uh yeah there's not a clear answer as to what it is but his mood isn't affected his mm -hmm. diet his like skin color isn't affected or anything like that it was just a very yeah. weird thing um, and he's not contagious he's not contagious um, which is why he, we were able to take him to the gym but he is seeing a specialist um, soon on Monday I'm making an appointment just in case because it is very weird and I need some yeah, sort of an answer it's weird we didn't get a straight answer it was kind of just like oh, we don't know what it is but just like keep an eye on him yeah. Yeah, the doctor told us to like watch his behaviors he's not like holding a stomach he's not like making he's not crying he's not showing pain when he's like using uh, the bathroom, you know, so that was the most important part that he's not showing any signs of it at all But I was talking to Eric. I was like, what if he just doesn't know how to show like signs of pain? Maybe I feel like he would just cry a lot and he didn't mm -hmm. Yeah, but we went to the ER we were there for like what, four four hours Ish. Yeah, they took some blood work and everything ran everything everything was fine It was like there was no problem and obviously he had knocked out like right after the blood and somehow <clears throat> I don't really know how they know this. He was explaining it to me, but I don't know how to explain it to you guys. But they can tell, like, the amount of blood that there is in his stomach. And he didn't have, like, a large amount of blood in his stomach. As if, like, you know, something's, like, torn or, like, yeah. bleeding in his stomach. That's crazy. Like, when, they, when he said that, I was like, damn. Like, they can really find yeah. out stuff like that so just by like, some blood work. But because he said that, I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It made me feel a bit better. Yeah, because we were scared. Like, we know Kylan doesn't pick up things and eat them anymore. But, like, you know, what if one day he was just like, oh, like, F it, and did it. We were scared, like, he ate something, and it was like, it tore something in the stomach, and we were just freaking out. But, so, he only had two diapers with bloody stool, right? Two bloody diapers. Two bloody diapers, and then after that, we went home that same night because we wanted to come here to see our, uh, what's it called? Pediatrician. Pediatrician, yeah. Uh, Monday. So it's currently Sunday, so we have to set that up for tomorrow. But yeah, uh, woke up this morning and heard the great news. Come. And it, it wasn't like a little bit of blood. It was like it was a, a diarrhea diaper, but everything was covered in a very dark, dark. almost like, like a period. Mm -hmm. It's very dark and it smelled really, really strong. It wasn't like any of the other pictures that I saw online of other kids mm -hmm. with blood in their diaper. It was way worse. Yeah, so I, that's the first thing we did. Like, drove to the ER. Erica's looking up like what it is. And the doctor told us, like, like, we did the right thing, came there, like, any parent should react like that if you see blood in your child's stool, you know? But, uh, yeah, he said it, it could be, I forgot what it's called, but he said it could be, like, a one-and-done type thing. Yeah. Like, you just, like, you'll see bloody stool and then it's, like, gone forever. Or yeah. some people, like, consistently have it sometimes. It's just, it's just random, so, uh, just, we're just, like, spreading this out there, just, like, for people that, like, ever encounter this, like, just, like, just go straight to the ER, it doesn't even matter. It, like don't even like just be like oh uh, like they can just walk it off or like you know it's not such a big deal you know obviously yeah you just just go straight to the ER but we're just passing off well passing on this experience that we had because it freaked the hell out of us and yeah it's just like I was like I was saying before no one ever wants to see their child in pain you know you always want to take even the pain though he away. wasn't in pain but it was just like yeah strange yeah we were so stressed like the whole ride back we were just so, so stressed i was quiet eric was like what's wrong with you, you look depressed i was like well yeah like son's bleeding in his poo i'm just like freaking out so uh, he's currently up napping right now we just got back from the gym and he was happy as ever smiling 
no pain showing any effects or anything like that so but with that being said let's get into the rest of this vlog yo what's going on guys <laughs> we are so awkward right now we don't know how to act on camera but we are gonna do a gym shark sale oh. like black friday sale opening black friday try on haul yeah something like that but before we get into this unboxing my app is now live and it is in the link in the description you can sign up today and have the first month for just one dollar so what are you waiting for don't wait till the new year's start now so let's get started you want to start yes we have two big bags so this is the big load that has both our stuff and this is the second load where i forgot to get the hoodie because and sweats because i'm low on those oh, oops. we'll also try to name these at the same time as we try them on. Yeah, I think there should be a paper in here for the receipt. And there is a... Dump them all out. I'm going to get my phone, actually. The pinata. Okay, this hoodie is the black print uh, zip-up hoodie. And it... Ooh, that was nice. Oh, I like this print. I think this is the same print as my leggings. Is it? I think so. So we can match? I think so. Well, let me try some. Thank I got an XL small. because I know Gymshark kind of shoots a little smaller. I think I ordered two. Oh, this might be too big. No? <laughs> you sure? What'd you get? XL? This is XL. I like it, though. You like it big? Yeah. Might be too big. No, it's, if it's like a hoodie, it would fit you. That this is like the style of it though. This is like a pump the cover. The sleeve is this style. Yes, it is like the gym shark thing on the back. But it's like, I feel like it's too baggy. Look, this could be the pump cover though. Mm -hmm. I like it. You're like, wow, I'm gonna bring out the muscles. The ones you're trying on right now is the gym shark pulse leggings, white. These leggings right here, they're actually really, really soft. These are the restored joggers, light green. These are, what did I say, the pulse? The pulse. These are the white Pulse leggings. white leggings. An extra small. Extra small. They fit you good? Extra small? They fit me good. You should have got small. a little bit tight. I should have gotten a That's small. Not, I, I said that. But after I lose a little bit of the stomach, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Look good though. Didn't they have like a little, the didn't they have like a pink strappy thing on it? Yeah, but I whatever? loosened it all the way. Well, actually kind of. They're still a little bit loose, but. There you go. But they're cute and I like them. All right, go try on the next one. So yeah. Which one do I do next? This set, probably. Good. So this is the Adapt Whoa. Ombre Seamless Shorts and Top Set. I like this one. Pat picked this one. I picked that one, Nick. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> I picked that one, and I think I made a good choice. And I like it because it has this like thick waistband. The thick waistband hides in your pooch. Let's see. Do a spin. Do a spin, spin. I like it. Like you should wear it tonight. Actually, I might. You can wear it. <laughs> Hi, Kellen. This is called Restore T-shirt, and these actually came back. I heard really good things about this. That's why I got it. Really soft, and it has. This is my favorite part. It has like a tie, Ooh. tie on thing, so like I can wear it like this. You just like kind of tuck it away. I can wear it like this long, or if I want it like kind of topped or like a tucked in look, and just kind of. Mm -hmm. Like hide it. it. And then you just hide the strap inside. But I got three different colors of these, so that pretty much knocks out a lot for me. I got black and it's like kind of like a cream color. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That cream one. So I can wear these like casual wear too. It's not just for the gym. This shirt is the Crest shirt. I got dark green and this one fits pretty well. I got XL because you know, boy. He's getting bigger. Got to fit into these big shirts. The next fit for Erica, the the bra part she didn't really like, so we're just gonna return it and need a different one. Well, the bra that was matching with this was sold out, so I couldn't get it, and then I got a different bra. But that bra I ordered in a size extra small, and the extra small is suffocating. I needed <laughs> Pat's help to get it off, so I have to get probably a small or medium. Yeah, let's look at those leggings though. 
I like those leggings. These are the Adapt Camo Seamless. Do a spin for everybody. I like those. The camo. I think I picked that out too. Yeah, hey, I'm good. <laughs> The next shirt is this when the pre-workout shirt hits and it's a pretty cool design i like the way they're going like a new path like new design for their gym shark uh, shirts so i got this also in a xl fits like a dry fit though this next shirt is the bold drop tank top and it's really really soft i like it this is an xl but it feels like a large Probably like the sizes are a little weird. Probably gonna end up returning some of these and just get different sizes, but like Erica, for example, she has like two things that she wants to swap. But yeah, I think this is the end of our little unboxing haul. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Also, once again, my app is now live. I'm gonna put on the screen right here all the benefits that are included with it. I post new workouts on there every single week. The next program I'm working on is like a booty gaining, like how to like get a toned booty, just how to get some booty gains. I have a nutrition guide and all that stuff to help you guys along your journey. And, and it's just, it's really easy to follow. It's one-on-one -on -one community with me and you. I'll put another clips up here, like how you follow my workouts, super easy. I'm basically your coach in your pocket. So go ahead and sign up right now. Link is at the top of the description. Hello everyone, it is Thanksgiving Eve. We are celebrating Thanksgiving tonight, Wednesday, because we're doing kind of a Thanksgiving here, a Thanksgiving in Warrington. And I'm in charge of the ham and the turkey this year. And I've never made a turkey, okay? But I'm kind of following three different recipes. I'm following my mom's recipe. I'm following another recipe that I found on TikTok. And I'm following another recipe that I found on Google. Kind of. I'm like combining all of them and doing what I can. Because I want it to be juicy and flavorful. Um, but the time right now is 11.30. I'm about to put the turkey in the oven. But I wanted to show you some things. So... Last night, Tuesday, um, I brined the turkey in some salted water. Um, cool water, not warm or anything like that, but like some salted water, it brined. And then I was supposed to actually brine it on Monday and then season it, marinate it on Tuesday to cook it Wednesday, but I was kind of behind schedule. So I brined it and then after I brined it, I marinated it kind of in a can not a can but i got the juice of um pineapple pineapple juice in a can um i got that juice and used cumin a little bit black pepper garlic onion powder and um a little bit of goya just a little bit that's just for color and paprika um and poured that all over the turkey and like injected it into it and then put that in the fridge and let that marinate so it's in the fridge right now like that it's been like that since last night um now that i'm about to put it into the oven though i'm gonna stuff the inside part of the turkey with some what's it called lemon wedges um some onion half an onion some garlic and rosemary and thyme and then for like the out part of the turkey, I'm going to rub lemon over the skin. That's kind of just like to clean it or whatever. And then I have some compound butter that I made that I'm going to be putting under the skin, over the turkey, and all that. So this thing better be juicy. I swear it better be juicy. The compound butter that I made is just like room temperature... Not, not even room temperature um, butter, but because it's still kind of solid. But it's some butter, mm -hmm. parsley, thyme, rosemary, chopped garlic, and that's it. It's unsalted butter as well because since I brined the turkey, um, that's supposed to give it like nice juiciness. And yeah, I don't want to, you don't want to overly salt things. So I'm about to put this on the turkey and then pop it in the oven. It should be cooking for like three to four hours-ish, maybe. I don't know. I have written down my paper. But, yeah, that's how I'm making my turkey this year. I just want it to be juicy. So I'm trying a bunch of different things. But I'll let you know if it tastes good. And then as for the ham, I'm going to make like a honey glazed ham. Um, 
and yeah i'm getting sick again so i'm sorry for my voice and i look kind of crusty because i i lost my mascara um yeah i feel like a true housewife right now kylan say hi kylan say hi Okay. Kylan is currently sick. I think he got sick from um, the daycare that we take him to at the gym, which is totally fine. I'm okay with it because um, it's normal for kids to get sick at daycare or at school, and he's just kind of getting a head start building his immune system. And he only has a runny nose and a slight cough, and I'm checking him constantly for um, fever, and he doesn't have any, so I think it's fine. It's just a little cold. I will show you guys the turkey after I'm done putting the stuff on it because it's gross. I don't know if y'all want to see me stuff in my hands and turkey and stuff like that. You guys, I meant to show you um, my turkey after I finished putting the butter on top of it and like under the skin. But as I was putting pineapple chunks inside like the, you know, the stuffing area, I cut my shelf on the can and it's pretty deep so i had to stop clean everything get a new can find a band-aid stop bleeding find a glove and now i'm grumpy so i just said fuck it and already put the foil on the turkey so I'm sorry, but it wasn't looking that cute any anyway, so you didn't miss out on anything. Um, but I'm setting my oven to 350 right now, and the turkey's going to go in there breast side down for about an hour and a half to two hours, maybe an hour and a half or less than that, because it's a small turkey. Um, and then I'm going to baste it again, inject it, and then flip it over for another hour or so. We'll we'll see. I'm kind of we're kind of experimenting right now because it is a smaller turkey than what my mom is used to cooking, and I'm following her kind of cooking recipe. So I'm estimating. I'm checking the temperature. Well, I will be checking the temperature with the thermometer thingy, food thingy, um, so we don't get salmonella. I think it's been about like an hour since I updated you guys, but. I flipped my turkey, which is a challenge, okay? Um, and now it looks like this one. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right now, it looks like this. Excuse my camera skills, they're terrible. 147 right now. Um, I read that it's cooked, or you can eat it at 160, but that I think the breast or something needs to be at 180 so I'm gonna put it back in for another 30 minutes and but I'm covering the wings and the legs in extra foil so that they don't get too crispy because they're already starting to like get really golden um, and I still need to broil um, the other side so I'm gonna put it in for 30 more minutes and with the wing and the leg covered and then also the entire thing covered in foil as well um, but yeah it smells really good though so, I think it's good. I'm very proud. When we touch it, the temperature's rising. I just have to find closure. Every time we connect, we want some closer. Just to start it all over. I'm sick of these days. Colin had turkey in his bowl and he dumps it and he puts it on his head and he goes, hat. Hat? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hat? Hat. <laughs> Okay guys, we are gonna wrap it up for this video. As we said earlier, Kylan is perfectly fine now. His stool is looking 
great. It is back to normal and he's happier than ever. We actually just got back from the gym and he was playing with the kids and everything, having a fun time. There was nothing bothering him at all. And we didn't really post it on social media, like Instagram or anything like that, because like we didn't want to worry people or anything like that. But that's why we started off this video with like, you know, letting you guys know that he's okay and we're not gonna like drag this whole thing along, you know, like we did the right things. We took him straight to the ER because like what parent wouldn't be concerned about seeing like really bloody stool and I don't know, we just made the right move. That's what the doctor said and they said not to freak out. Like, a thing was handled, the situation was handled. We didn't know, like we said, the doctor didn't even know either. Like, it could have been multiple different things, but he wasn't like holding his stomach in pain or nothing like that. He was smiling and just being normal. But it was such great news to wake up this morning to Erica saying like his diaper, his stool was normal. And it was just like a huge relief because like, it happened two days ago and like just all weekend it was just like just tearing me down as we went like it's you know it's your son you don't you don't ever want them to be in pain like i would rather take all that pain away from him and just like have it all on me always that's how all parents should be but we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys can smash the like button for kylan recovering and being a healthy baby and we wish you guys nothing but a happy new year's the new year's is coming up so quick it, like went by like this and uh, again, we do apologize that we not we do not post as much as we used to. We just have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff on our plate. As you guys know, we already told you guys before, but um, really, we are really grateful to have you guys stay along with us this long, even though we don't frequently post. So for that, we love you guys. Until the next video, peace out.